So you've run training around single page apps. Mm -hmm. What are those? Well, uh, you can think of it, uh, the distinction kind of being that uh, if you write something like a Rails application, the code that you're writing as a developer is running on the server, it's getting requests from the browser, and you're doing all the work on the server and responding with HTML. Mm -hmm. uh, in a single page app or client side app, what you're doing is you're basically treating the browser as your runtime. So the, basically, the majority of the code that you're writing is probably going to actually be executing in the browser. Um, so a lot more logic happens there. So you can do things like spreadsheet software or games or you know anything that requires kind of richer levels of interaction. What are the biggest issues with single page apps? Is, does it impact things like analytics and SEO? Yeah, so your analytics the approaches have to change a little bit. You have to you know kind of fire off events as you change change pages within the application, oh, right? Okay. Um, but you know the the big issue that people like to point out is kind of the it, it can it can destroy the, the kind of crawlability of your application, right? Okay. Uh, so if your content is only, you know, if the search engine isn't actually executing that JavaScript, they're just getting empty HTML. Are there ways around that? I mean, are the search engines adapting to that? Or is it one of those circumstances where, as a developer, you just have to weigh the risks and rewards? There, there's kind of workarounds in multiple directions. Uh, search engines are getting better about actually executing code and indexing content that's, you know, that appears after the JavaScript has executed. Uh, but in addition, you see a lot of people, uh, you know, especially e-commerce companies and that, that want, like, that have a lot of products that they want, you know, say Google to be able to walk easily on their page, kind of pre-generating content or in some cases even run, running the same client-side code on the server to generate, you know, kind of pre-build that HTML and respond with that. So, so. so I've been sitting here calling it single page apps, yeah. but I read a post of yours. <clears throat> we actually argued that that's not the best name and that instead we should be calling them native web apps. So first, I apologize. Oh, no, no, And second, fine. why do you feel like that name has to change? No, everybody uses it, so it's, it's just, it's just kind of how it goes. But, uh, you know, it used to be maybe that was the, the interesting thing, that it was kind of a single page. But any properly architected single page app has the concept of you know different URLs and pages and stuff. You're not you're not. It doesn't. It fails to describe it completely, in my opinion. Um, and I think it it almost kind of puts it down a tier in terms of it doesn't seem like a. Yeah, to me, that's not so not appealing, right? It's kind of outgrown it, right? Yeah, exactly, exactly. So you know, if you think about native iOS development, you know, what what does native mean? Native means that you're you're using the tools and technologies that are native to that platform and the APIs that you have available. So. You know, Objective C, maybe UI views or core animation or what have you. But I'm a web developer, so what if I want to build a native web app? Like, what is that? And uh, that's just using the tools that we have HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, and whatever browser APIs, and using them to the full extent possible to build an application. What kind of feedback have you gotten on the on the on, term? On the term, yeah. Well, a lot of people it seems comment pretty on Pretty reasonable. The, I think so. I mean, of course. Right? <laughs> no, but. Um, I think people, a lot of people are, are kind of adopting it. Uh, I think everyone agrees, a lot of people agree that single page is not necessarily the right way to describe these. There's a lot of discussion as to what you should actually call them. Um, to me, this kind of makes sense. It makes it not feel like a second class thing mm -hmm. uh, to a native you know, iOS app. Um, but yeah, some people point out that, that NWA uh, definitely me meant something else <laughs> previously. So maybe the, maybe the short version of that isn't ideal, but. Just I say think it, it's better. Say it the full, right? Mm -hmm. uh, so, what is the single biggest web or coding issue that you're running into right now? Um, I think you know a, a lot of these cases where we're building these types of applications. What we're trying to do is create richer experiences, and there's still this gap that exists between native platforms and the web platform. And in terms of what we can do, you know, access to APIs, especially um, for mobile. Devices, you know, we kind of get this limited sandbox environment that we can play with, and uh, you know, th there's just things you can't do right now that that you can, that you have to do in a native app, in a native thing. So things like real, true offline support, mm -hmm. um, where you know a user expects to be able to open your web application and have it work, when, even when they don't, when even when they know that there's no internet. Uh, there's a lot of kind of leaps that they have to go through to, to start to think of the web even in that way. So I think that's going to be a bit of a challenge. Mm -hmm. Related to all this, what was the biggest issue you were running into five years ago, and how was it addressed if it was addressed? Well, it was strikingly similar. Yeah. Actually. I mean, it, this, is, this is not an old problem. 
Um, I've been trying to build apps in this way for quite some time. And uh, that the, 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 I guess the good thing is the tooling has gotten dramatically better. We're seeing a lot of uh, interest and activity from the Google team, especially the Chrome team, adding these features and kind of blurring these lines a little bit. Uh, we have things like Service Worker, and um, you know, and, and Android does a really good job of kind of blurring these lines now, where you can kind of install things, install web apps to your own page, and whatnot. so it's getting closer. It's getting better. We just have we have a ways to go. How still. far off do you think it is before? Well, we there's this giant gorilla in the room called Apple that needs to do something. They've they've had basic support for this for years. In fact, Steve Jobs is like, this is how he was telling us to build apps. Yeah, right. 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 Uh, but then people wanted more, and that that was the same issue, right? They wanted more control. Control, you know, better performance. They wanted to get, you know, running those native things, right? So, but now we have, you know, JavaScript core in iOS. So the capabilities exist. Um, I think we need to kind of just get, get over that little leap of I want to be able to install this web application in my iOS app. And unfortunately, the incentives don't currently align. Mm -hmm. It doesn't really fit with the App Store model all that well. Right. So, right. well, last question for you: What people or projects are you following these days? Um, so many things. Um, it's hard to pick just a few, honestly. But uh, one that I think is interesting, just because of its dramatic simplicity, is this project called Surge, uh, Surge.sh. And uh, what they do is they make it completely just ridiculously simple to deploy a uh, kind of a static native web app. So mm -hmm. that's what I'm doing a lot more of these days, is kind of compiling, taking a JavaScript application a uh, native web app and actually pre-rendering all known content ahead of time. So things like your home page, you know, you don't have you can send inflated HTML as a static pre-generated file. Um, and you know, they have kind of a, a cool way to deploy that stuff super easily just with with some intelligent routing rules. They've done a really good job of making that like so you don't even have to think about it. Your deployment becomes like run one little command and you're good, right? Mm -hmm. So that's pretty cool. Um, definitely following the the Google teams kind of pushing this this whole integration of the web with their OS. Mm -hmm. um, so things like Service Worker are extremely interesting to me, um, and you know what you can do with that. So great. Yeah. Well, thanks for being with us. Yeah. Thank you.